This battle between Syracuse and Pontus on Tur is between me and USSR Vasily. And you can see our builds here. I went for a Pontic Pike Corps with skirmishing support, four mercenary Scythian horse archers, four Eastern Slingers. I have, I believe I have three bronze shields, or maybe two bronze shields, and four regular pikes, two bronze shields, three bronze shields and three regular pikes. I have four noble blood, two hoplites, and that's it. So the plan is to take care of cavalry with these mercenary Scythians, do some scouting with the noble blood, push up my pike line. My opponent has some just regular archers, Balearic Slingers and Balearic Slingers so, and a Peltest unit, so I think three Balearic Slingers, potentially very dangerous to my pikes and my skirmishers, one unit of archers, one unit of Peltests, four, three pikes in the center, backed up by three Thurio Spears, a unit of Mercenary Sam Knights, Mercenary Sam Knights on the flanks, and also some Citizen Cavalry, so this isn't close to a full army, He's probably hiding something, which people like to do on this map. So I'm going to have to scout out here before I do anything crazy. And I'm just trying to move in, pull away, throw some shots. And I catch this unit of, this unit of mercenary companions, but it's going to pull out and closer to its own lines. So I'm try going to try to get a charge on it. And I am just going to be able to make contact and do some damage. But he has units close by for support. The unit of citizen cavalry here and the unit of picked hoplites here. So I'm just going to pull out. But I did manage to do some damage at least. No point in pursuing that engagement further. And I have to keep my distance because of these mercenary balearics. I'm not going to be able to win the skirmishing fight with my horse archers alone. Because they have less range and they have zero armor. So I'm going to push up my slinger so that he has skirmishing threats coming from several sides. So he's going to have to either take fire from one of them or split up his forces. So just fast forward until our forces meet there. And I'm keeping some cavalry in reserve and using some cavalry to exert pressure. So he can't get too frisky with his skirmishers and so that he has to keep his cavalry close by. So now he's splitting up his skirmishers, which is good. Now I can move in and get some damage done on them. Just a bit of light skirmishing here. They're getting a volley off. I'm getting a volley off. Um, killing a few Balearics. So that's good. But I have to pull out so I don't get shot to death by Thoreos and such. Using my cavalry just to present a small threat on the flanks. Um, now I am moving inside slinger range and the way I'm going to select targets here is I'm going to kill the unit that is going to die and route first. I'm going to kill that one off first. So it's going to be these archers. They should die very quickly, focusing fire on them. And the archers going down quickly. They don't have any shields and they have less range than my guys so these guys aren't even firing. I'm going to start firing at the Balearic slingers. But I want to ki take out the archers completely first. So the archers aren't going to be able to do anything, and this is of course the disadvantage in using using archers with 125 range, is that they will be outranged and destroyed very quickly. So now I'm going to focus fire onto these mercenary Balearic Slingers, and the Balearic Slingers are firing at my Eastern Slingers. And they will defeat Eastern Slingers fairly easily, they have more missile damage and more armor penetration. He used quick reload, and that's going to tire out his men. So they are going to get a penalty to their re reload skills, so we should see a reduction in their rate of fire. But again, I'm focusing fire with these units and keeping these uh, Balearic Slingers here away from the engagement because I am using my Horse Archers in his rear. So that's going to allow me to engage his Balearic Slingers one by one and uh, destroy them. Getting some shots off on the Citizen Cavalry, taking down quite a few of them with Heavy Shot. Heavy Shot is awesome. I have to run away from the Peltas though, because they can really destroy my Horse Archers. Pulling away from here, I don't want Picked Hoplites and Companions to get to my Noble Blood Cav. One unit of Mercenary Balearics down, so now two units of enemy Skirmishers are out of the game, while I have lost about half a unit of Eastern Slingers. So the Skirmishing fight is going very well for me here. Very good exchanges. 
And this unit of Beleric Slingers is going to be focused upon as well and destroyed. So I won't be able to see my opponent moving up through the forest here. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for anything that comes charging through. And this is a good move, moving the units to the side like this to make me split up my forces. So I'm just going to create a small kink in my pike line, so he won't be able to get at my skirmishers here. Here are some citizen cavalry is coming out of the woods, so I'm going to give attack orders on the citizen cavalry. Change it at the last minute here. So I didn't get a good charge on the citizen cavalry there. Um, kind of, it kind of got stopped, so not a, not a very good engagement here. It's very annoying when the units stop like that, but they did have attack orders on the mercenary companions, so my guys would do a lot better if I didn't. Uh, if they didn't stop on this unit of citizen cavalry, but the citizen cavalry is dying to hoplites. He is bringing picked hoplite support, but this is it looks dangerous. But it's it's actually pretty good for me because he is pulling his general, his most his most dangerous unit, far away from the rest of his army, and that's going to allow me to focus fire on him with my skirmishers. So now there is no cavalry I'm worried about over here. That means I can pull my my. Uh, Noble Blood Cavalry over to support. He only has one unit of Balearic Slingers left. So this is looking pretty good. Unit of Citizen Cavalry coming around here. So he, I'm going to move this unit up so he isn't able to pull through. And the Pig Toplite is not really getting a good charge or anything here. The Noble Blood, uh, the, uh, the noble blood Cavalry is going to get a pretty decent charge here. The mercenary companions are dying, but not nearly quickly enough because I didn't get a good charge on them. So I'm moving up my noble blood cavalry here to stop this unit of mercenary Sam Knights before it can join the combat, pulling out some units of, of uh, noble blood. And I want my hoplites to tank it out against the citizen cavalry and hopefully destroy them. So now my in trying to split up my forces, my opponent's forces is split up to a significant degree. This unit of citizen cavalry is getting charged again and it's going to start dropping much more quickly. This unit came back from routing so I want to destroy it. I'm going for a charge on these mercenary Samnites because they are moving. And there we go. Pretty good charge on the mercenary Samnites. And now he's responding with the rest of his army, so I'm going to move my pikes up to meet him and keep these guys on the flanks just to dissuade any flanking forces so I can use heavy shot against them. I'm moving up my bronze shield pikes to take care of these guys, my noble blood cavalry. It's very uh, it's very durable, but it won't be able to hold up for long against picked hoplites. Citizen cavalry going down, but this is going to allow me to pour fire into his picked hoplites while they are engaged. So it's going to be very useful. Um, here you'll see pikes doing what pikes do best, making a mess of everything. So this unit of citizen cavalry is going down, but it's going to get help by these mercenary companions. And that's going to destroy the noble blood cavalry over here. But I'm also going to be able to send more units in to support. And my opponent's cavalry is quickly um, being destroyed. This unit of picked hoplites didn't get a charge. My hoplites didn't get a charge, but they are inferior troops. But here you see her holding with the hoplites and then running around with the mercenary Sidian horse, shooting heavy shot into the rear of these picked hoplites, and they're going to die extremely quickly to heavy shot. I should be able to win this cavalry engagement over here by sending in some more noble blood. The citizen cavalry is going down, the mercenary companion is at half strength, just about. And my noble blood kind of got stuck on this unit for a little while, but the picked hoplites are not going to be alive for much longer. Dying very quickly to the combined fire here. And <laughs> here you have the pikes just standing around doing weird stuff. Trying to uh, out to get at my rear with some Thurios here. Um, managed to stop him with my with my bronze shields against his mercenary Samnite, so that's a miracle. And I'm just going to let this unit of pikemen stand and take fire and hold off these guys. And I have my all of my skirmishers concentrated here, so a cavalry attack there could be devastating, but my opponent is quickly losing his uh, cavalry. His mercenary companions not doing too well here, uh, because against good melee cavalry that have a bonus against large, the mercenary companions aren't going to do too well. They're going to do decent, but it's not the, it's not the best use of them to go up against enemy cavalry. The mercenary Sam Knights are 
in an even combat with my bronze shield pikes. I bet my bronze shield pikes are in weird formation. And yep, they are very weird indeed. I'm going to swing around and go for a rear charge against the mercenary Samnites. And just use missiles to fire into the any melee engagements that are happening. Mercenary Samnites and Tereos are coming on the flanks. So I'm going to try to attack them with my pikes. And here it would be better to just run and then try to engage. But I did not do that. It's hard to micro pikes effectively, I think. In and here the mercenary some knights are getting rear charged, and that's going to drop them fairly quickly. They are shaken, and they're going to get a penalty to their morale from the rear charge, losing the combat. And these guys are wavering at 96 men, so it would be very nice to be able to break this unit of some knights. But it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to break it because it should start getting kills on my noble blood and then start to win the combat. So. In hindsight, I probably should have kept this unit in there for a bit longer. Rushing my pikes up here to destroy these Tureos before they before they can do more damage. This unit of Samnites is being stopped by Hoplites and chased away by pikes. He is going to use his Tureos to pull away my skirmishes there, but I have all the time in the world and he doesn't. My slingers are firing at the rear of this mercenary Samnite, so this is a bad engagement for my opponent. The mercenary samnites are going to die quickly to slinger fire from the rear. And my horse archers have a lot of ammunition left because I've conserved it and they are doing quite alright for themselves. The mercenary Blaric slingers are going to get caught on the move here with heavy shot and that's going to take them down extremely quickly. So this unit is, it got a uh, substantial amount of kills here but it's going to die now so that's good. No Blaric's in the late game. So mercenary veteran Hoplite is doing well against my Hoplite. The mercenary Samnites are going to start running away. And I'll just fast forward here because at this point I destroy every single one of my opponent's units that isn't able to run away. But he's going to run away with this unit of mercenary Samnites and he's going to run away with these mercenary veteran Hoplite. So I asked him in the chat if he was seriously just going to run away. And then he wrote something in Russian. And then he just said... Ha ha ha. So he, I think he thought it was funny to waste my time and run away with these guys instead of conceding defeat and instead of just taking the engagement. So I didn't think it was very funny. It wasn't very imaginative trolling. It was just a completely dick move. Uh, because he realized he lost the game of course and he just didn't want to, to admit defeat and thought it would be funny to run away with his units. So. Since he responded that way, way, I figured I'd make a video of it, because he is a clan player, and I don't know how the USSR clan um, works, and if they have any like code of conduct or s uh, stuff like that, but uh, it's always, uh, it's always um, strange to me when clan players that are kind of representing a clan do stuff like this, and, and even in quick battles, because it's just basically being outplayed, destroyed, but not wanting to to admit to the defeat. So you're defeated and you are being an absolute dick. So it's kind of a double loss. And for the clan that has players like this, this clan is... If, if this shit is, happens regularly, this clan is going to quickly get a reputation for being a bunch of dickbags and, and pretty bad players. So this is a very trolly, very noob move of him. Just keep fast forwarding because this is just me basically running after his guys going for rear charges with my remaining cavalry and such. He's going to hide all the way over here in the corner so he's not just uh, he's not just running away but he is he's, uh, camping, redlining but I did find his guys and I should be able to take them on with my remaining pikes and cavalry going for charges here on his uh, mercenary veteran hopetes and they're going to die to rear charges so I just need to keep doing this but I don't have the time left to kill his guys since he's running away and the same here my pikes don't have the time to run up and engage his guys and destroy them so Vasily that's a pretty damn uh, <laughs> pretty damn stupid move you're pulling here but you know I lost uh, well sorry I know you lost and you know you lost so that's really all that matters and doing stuff like this to avoid a defeat isn't going to make you a better player it isn't going to make the game more enjoyable for anyone 
So, pretty strange move there, but uh, let's have a look at the kills. The Bronze Shield Pikes, these two guys did fairly decently. These guys just held off while my Eastern Slingers were able to get some nice kills. Uh, the Mercenary Horse Archers, some Scythian Horse Archers did fairly well. His Pig Toplites didn't do much, his Mercenary Companions didn't do much. His Skirmishers, one of the units did okay, but this isn't a, an effective use of uh, Skirmishers and you could see why. One of his Pikes did okay, these Mercenary Veteran Hoplites did okay, but the rest of his army didn't do much at all. So, only 747 kills against this army, it's not a whole lot, almost twice the amount of kills for me. So it's it's very frustrating when, when players do stuff like that, but the main main point in playing the game is of course having fun and getting better at the game and you don't get better at the game by running away when you're defeated that is just avoid avoid getting a loss uh, on the result screen but you you did lose that game to be fair so thanks for watching and I'll see you again on the battlefield